Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing good. I just did the Libra reading, so if you're coming from the Libra reading, thank you. All right, let me pull up the chat really quick. I forgot to do that at the beginning of the Libra reading. Okay. How's everyone doing? What's going on? All right, we're going to start with career, Scorpio. I hope you're doing good today. Do I have chat enabled for this? I don't think I do. Oops. Oh, my computer is like freezing. Oh, the chat's not showing up. What happened? Why isn't there chat? That's odd. Okay, well, I'm sorry if I don't have chat enabled. I didn't mean to do that. It's like not showing up on my end, so. Mercury retrograde, am I right? Am I right or am I right? Oh, I know. There we go. There it is. Weird. Mercury retrograde. What's going on? Hello, sunshine. How are you? You are always here. I appreciate you. That's so weird. Mercury retrograde. I'm always the biggest victim of Mercury retrograde, though. Technologically. Always. Always. Mercury retrograde loves to mess with me. Okay, Scorpio. What's coming next in career for Scorpio? <clears throat> oh, you're leaving a you're leaving a situation. Wow. Scorpio, you have had enough at your job, haven't you? You have had enough. You know that there's more opportunity waiting for you somewhere else. You're definitely getting a new job, but you have to leave. You have to leave your current job. So I, I don't know if you have been applying for other jobs, definitely expect some interviews, definitely expect some calls. You're going somewhere else. Uh, two of Cups reverse, a breakup. <laughs> and then the Chariot, which is leaving, going somewhere else, right? It's traveling, um, can be driving. So you could be moving as well. We have the Ten of Swords here, betrayal. I feel like something, something really bad happened wherever you work now. Um, so I don't know if you have like a really shitty boss or maybe you have coworkers that are being sneaky, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, but it looks like something really bad happened. You might've gotten caught up in the middle of it and now you've had enough. With the six of pentacles here, I feel like you're getting a new opportunity somewhere else, right? That's generosity. It's a gift from the universe. We have the Fool and the Queen of Pentacles in the overall. I love this. We have Aquarius energy here as well. You're definitely going to be making a lot more money wherever you're going. So I love this for you. I don't really know what else to say about this. It's just, you know, take that leap and go somewhere else. Take that leap and go somewhere else. Anything else for a career for Scorpio? Six of Pentacles again. Oh my God. Wow. I just have one more. Thank you, Justice. Yep. Yup. Dude, I feel like a manager or a boss like wasn't paying you fairly or they were taking advantage of you in some sort of way. Overall, we have the Emperor, which can be like boss energy. And then the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, which is like major, major money in the reverse, right? So I feel like someone was taking advantage of you or just like wasn't paying you, <clears throat> which is illegal. And we do have the justice here. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Six of Pentacles, generosity, King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person took advantage of you or this job took advantage of you whether it be monetarily or emotionally, I don't know. They took a lot of your energy though. We then have the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Justice. So there was a lack of communication here. I feel like you almost didn't know how they were taking advantage of you. So maybe someone was getting paid more than you and you're in the same job, like, or you're in the same position and you found out that you were being screwed over or something. Oh my gosh, my cat is here. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes. What? 
Would you like to say hi? You have to come here. I can't reach you from over there. Hello, hello. Um, I'm not doing any free questions. I'm sorry. Come here. Okay, or just scream at me from a distance. Um, anyway, so I feel like there is something illegal going on here. I'm not gonna lie, Scorpio. I feel like there's something very, very shady going on here. And I think it's really good that you're leaving. Um, if you're thinking about suing or trying to get some sort of wages back, I do feel like you're going to win that. Um, I, I definitely feel like something really shady is going on. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. So, but good news is that you're getting another job. We have Aries and Libra here. <clears throat> okay, let's go to love. Let's go to the past, the past person. So if you're dealing with the past person, this is for you. Oop, that was terrible. on with the past person what would you like the collective to know would you like scorpio to know strength card four swords oh wow <clears throat> scorpio the past person is very worried that you don't want to fix this which tells me they've pushed you to the edge um we have the strength and the four swords so the past person would like to fix this they would like to yeah, they want to fix this. They want to heal this. But the Nine of Swords, mental health issues, and the Ten of Wands in the reverse, feeling overly burdened and wanting to release a burden, this person is very worried that you do not want this anymore. Overall, we have the Page of Cups and the Fool. Wow. Um, This person wants to start over with you. They, I, I kind of get the feeling that they want to act like this never happened. Um, whatever they did. I think that they're afraid to face what they did. And you're not, you're not afraid to face it, but they are. I think that's why we have so much immature energy in the overall. Like it's, it's very much like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to, I just want to start over. I just want to go back to us being cute and flirting and, you know, doing, I don't know, just being cute, da, 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 flowers and rainbows and stuff. I, okay. We have Aquarius here. <clears throat> Tell me more about how this past person feels. About Scorpio, the sun. Wow. I hate living on a busy street. Never again. Oh my God. This person is so in love with you, but I see why you don't want to deal with them. <laughs> we have the sun. They feel like you are their happiness. Ace of Cups, very, very much in love with you. And the Empress. They see you as the Empress. Gender doesn't matter. Whew. You could have a child with this person. Don't have to, though. That's just an energy of the Empress. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands coming out as a challenge. This person can be very defensive. And again, that, I, I feel like an immaturity coming from that. I'm sure you probably agree. Overall, we have Four Swords Reverse and the Knight of Wands Reverse. This person's very in and out. I don't think they really know how to talk about their feelings. I don't think this person wants to learn how to talk about their feelings, yet they want to have a very, very serious relationship with you. It's very odd energy. Like, I don't understand how they expect to have a super successful, they want all of this, right? Like they want the Ace of Cups, they want the Empress energy, the sun, but they're not really willing to stick around long enough to, to build trust so that you stick around long enough. Like, I, I feel like you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person to stick around or talk about their feelings or whatever. I feel like you've had enough. I feel like you've had enough and they're like, oh shit, Scorpio's had enough. 
that's been that's been a very common energy that was kind of the energy that we got in the libra reading just a little bit not um not a lot but like it, that's that's been the energy the last like few weeks honestly like a lot of people have had enough everyone's very tired of dealing with people who don't want to work on themselves who don't want to get help you know because it's very exhausting it's very anxiety inducing like we already have so much shit to deal with in this world the last thing we need is our partner just totally dipping out on us whether it be physically or emotionally right and so I feel like you're, you've just had enough. You've had enough. Uh, we have Taurus and Leo here. So I don't know. I definitely feel like this person is on their way back to you. Um, but I don't know if you want to hear from them at all. Let's get some messages from them. <clears throat> messages from the past person to Scorpio. Rose-colored glasses, you are the first person to make me feel this way. That's the overall energy. Like I said, they kind of just want to like pretend like this never fucking happened. Rose-colored glasses. Yeah. When they come back, they're just going to be like, oh, babe, I'm so in love with you. Let's just do this. And you're like, wait, 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 wait. What about the last few months when you just totally dipped out on me? emotionally unavailable this person has absolutely no idea how to handle their emotions unhealthy attachment so you guys could have like i don't know you guys feel kind of toxic when you're together telepathic bond but you are very connected to each other there is someone keeping me from you um yeah okay so this person when they experience something slightly difficult they go and talk to someone else I, you probably know about it, so I don't think I'm telling you anything you don't know. I feel lost without you. Will you give me a second chance? <clears throat> so this person claims that you're like the love of their life, right? But they're not doing anything to better themselves. Like, I don't understand how they expect to keep you around. But they're not going to work on themselves. I don't get it. They just want you to put up with it, you know? Okay, let's go to singles. What's coming next for Scorpio singles? Single Scorpio. Ooh, major breakup here in the past. Major, major breakup here. You could have been divorced. I always take the Ten of Pentacles reversed as divorce. So you could have been divorced, or you could, could be divorced, sorry. Um... Or maybe you lived with someone. Um, just a major, major commitment here was broken, right? I this I also take this sometimes as like the broken home. So I'm very sorry about that. I'm very, very sorry. I feel like a, there's a lot of happiness happening soon. I feel like it's coming. Um, if you're not experiencing it already, you might have felt really relieved after getting rid of this past relationship. Um, I feel like you were very burdened in this connection that you were in in the past we have the moon in reverse and the five of wands. I think you're going to be finding out some information about this person that you were married to or lived with or were just in a very serious connection with. Um, you're going to be finding out some secrets. That's the energy of the moon in reverse. Secrets being revealed. And five of wands is drama. I would not engage with this. I feel like it's going to surprise you but also not surprise you. So just be careful of not overreacting. Um, you know, take the information and process it and don't make a scene. I feel like people expect you to make a scene. I feel like people want you to make a scene. Overall, we have the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. We have three tens here. Ten, ten, ten. Endings and new beginnings. Ten of Swords reverse is recovering from a betrayal. The Wheel of Fortune reverse is feeling like luck isn't on your side. So I feel like there are a lot of people here that were involved in your relationship that shouldn't have been involved in your relationship and they almost want you to freak out. They want you to freak out. I, this feels very messy and I see why you left. Leo and Pisces here. <clears throat> Tell me more about the situation. King of Swords, Reverse, Judgment. Someone 
on. I feel like you were married to this person. So we have the four of wands here as well. And the ten of cups. You could have kids with this person. Okay. It doesn't have to be though. We have the king of swords reverse and the judgment. This is definitely reconciliation with someone who has narcissistic tendencies. <laughs> um... It's really interesting because I just get this energy of so many people involved. I, I don't know if that's like family. It could be because we do have the Ten of Cups and the overall energy here, which can be family. And then the Four of Wands is here to talk about the home. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, which can be the other woman. I, or the other, you know, other the other woman, the other man. Gender doesn't matter. Um, I just feel like there are so many people involved in your relationship and you just got sick of it you got sick of it I, scorpio this the energy coming from you is like i'm so sick of dealing with other people's shit i mean i got that from the past person reading and i'm getting this from the singles reading i think the two kind of connect i i think both groups are kind of the same so i mean obviously you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't but Scorpio, the energy coming from you is like, I'm sick of this. Also in your career as well. Like, I feel like a lot of people have been taking advantage of you. And it's time for that to stop. There's so many people involved here pulling strings and making you feel some type of way. I do feel like this past person is going to try to make a comeback. So I guess prepare for that. I would block them on everything so you don't even have to deal with it, right? This doesn't have to come true. Um, the four of wands coming out as a challenge is interesting. This person is going to come in saying that they want to build a home with you or they want to rebuild the home with you. But the queen of wands reverse is here. There's still someone else in the picture. So I don't know if they cheated on you or if there is like a weird family member, like a, definitely like a, it feels like a feminine presence. So this could be like an overly protective mom or aunt or sister or something I don't know but like there's way too many fucking people involved here in your relationship and it really shouldn't be like that overall we have ten of cups and the three of swords three of swords is heartbreak ten of cups family so yeah I, I just feel like family here needs to leave you alone they need to leave you the fuck alone and I honestly I think this person and their family need to leave you alone because I think that they're all a lot of drama. I think they all operate in chaos. And I think that you want better for yourself. This is a very specific message. So I'm sorry if this doesn't resonate with some of you guys. But it just feels very dramatic. It feels very, very dramatic. And you don't need to deal with that. So anyway. Let's go to general. <laughs> let's go to general. Any general messages for Scorpio? Hello? Spirit, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's time to release these people. I feel like you've been holding on to these people for way too long. Way, way, way too long. You need to give up the fight. These people are who they are. King of Wands reverse, someone who's manipulative, the tower in the reverse, avoiding change. It's also Scorpio energy here, the tower. We have the devil in the reverse and the four of pentacles, um, needing to release bad habits because you've been holding on to something for way too long. I think you did everything that you could to make this work. I think you did everything you could to make this work. And you can walk away knowing that you did everything you could. That's all you can do. And if it still doesn't work out, you have to pivot. Um, if this person isn't going to change, then you're just going to have to, okay, if this person isn't going to change and you want to stay with them and you want to deal with their family, you just have to accept this is how it's going to be. And I would really ask yourself, can I do this for the next 10 years? Is this something that I can survive the next 10 years? And if the answer is no, then you have to find a way to dip out. Overall, we have Five of Swords Reverse and the Seven of Wands. Five of Swords Reverse can can be an apology. It's also waving the white flag like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I have to go now. Um, I can't keep doing this anymore. Seven of Wands is setting boundaries, 
even having your guard up, but I think in a, it's in a good sense for this reading. So it's time to stand up for yourself and it's time to finally just say enough is enough. I can't keep doing this anymore. At some point, we all have to take responsibility and accountability for the situations that we keep allowing, right? It's not your fault that this person keeps betraying you. That's not your fault. However, if you keep up, if you keep telling this person, oh yes, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you can come back. Oh yeah, you can come back. Then they're just going to keep doing what they do, right? Like they, they know that you'll stick around no matter what they put you through. So it is what it is, you know, just take accountability and responsibility for that. And I promise you, you'll feel much more free. Scorpio and Capricorn here. Okay, very intense reading for you, Scorpio. Look at all signs. So if you're dealing with a certain sign, you listen for that sign. Okay. The Aries is very, very defensive. And they're also having money problems. Very unstable. The Aries is very unstable. I wouldn't touch this person with a 10-foot pole. Okay. The Taurus, oh my god, the Taurus wants a stable connection with you. Definitely want to commit to you, Two of Cups and King of Pentacles. I love this. I would definitely go for that. The Gemini, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse Six of The Gemini is very, very toxic. And I feel like if they get into a relationship with you, it's just because they don't want to be alone. Like, this person has codependency issues, and they're very toxic. <clears throat> Gemini. The Cancer is a lot of drama. <laughs> and I do feel like they're with someone else with the two pentacles reversed here. A um, lot of drama. A lot of drama with the Cancer. A lot of drama. Yeah, the Cancer is cheating. I'm sorry if you're, like, with them. Um, the Leo... The Leo is paying pretty close attention to you with the Six of Wands. I feel like they admire you. They want to work together on this. They want to work together. They want they want something stable with you. I love that. The Virgo. The Virgo wants to work on this, but they're afraid of rejection. The Libra. The Libra can't decide if they want to walk away or text you. <laughs> Page of Cups is like, oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> Eight of Cups is walking away, so. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god, my allergies are so freaking bad. I'm like suffering right now. Okay. Yeah, the Libra can't decide what they want to do. It's funny. Um, if you're dealing with another Scorpio, they are very, very toxic. Terrible at communication, very emotionally unavailable. I would almost say they have no emotion at all right now. Very interesting for Scorpio. The Sagittarius would like to work on this. They're definitely missing you. They are missing you. They want to fight for this. The Capricorn. Ooh, the Capricorn is coming in hot. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. They're, they're coming in very passionately, but they also want commitment at the same time. It feels very balanced. I love that. The Aquarius is making a new plan, but they feel like you're unstable. So I don't know if that's true. <laughs> they feel like you're unstable or maybe they're unstable. I don't know. There's an instability here. They want, like they want this, but they know it's very shaky. Very interesting. And then the Pisces, the Pisces feels like this connection is a very huge burden on the both of you. And they're just kind of like, I love this person, but maybe we should walk away. Okay, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that that helped. Pretty intense reading for you. I think that this is a reading about setting boundaries and just telling people no. Um, but yeah, private readings are available in the description below if you want one from me. Um... I try to get all of my private readings out within 72 hours. Uh, I do say like give me seven days just just in case, which is already like a short amount of time. Um, but I don't like to procrastinate. So I, I try to get them out within 
48 to 72 hours. So yeah, anyway, um, anything else? I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked the video. Also follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm giving away a free reading when I hit 500 followers on Instagram. So if you guys wanna go follow me there and then enter the contest, that's definitely available to you. Um, so yeah, love you guys so much. Yeah, thank you, Anxious Bean. Oh my God, I love your name. That is so funny, I love that. Um, but yeah, love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Uh, tomorrow I will be on to do the viewer's choice video. So yeah, come hang out on TikTok as well. I'll be live tonight. So love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.